Hello and welcome to Cast Iron Cooking and I'm your host, Belkin Vandersput. Today's video is about repairing cast iron pans that have been damaged in the cooking and cleaning process. A lot of times water can work its way through a seasoning in a cast iron pan and cause it to start rusting. So what we want to do is to repair the basic seasoning inside of the pan so that we can put the pan back to use. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the process of using table salt. And typically coarse table salt is commonly used. It's a really simple process. The salt is used as an abrasive. And what you're going to do is add it liberally to the pan and you are then going to add water to the salt in the pan and take a sponge or a cloth and you're going to use this salt and water combination as an abrasive to wipe away to scour away the rust that's formed on the cast iron itself in this case i'm actually going to do it twice I did it once over and it had a couple of spots that were still a little rusty. So I went ahead and added more salt. There was plenty of water in there. And once any evidence of rust is gone, then we'll take this pan and I'll rinse it out and then go ahead with the standard process of seasoning the cast iron pan. And this is kind of a how-to video. It's, it's a fairly quick video, but I'll show you. In this pan, you can see that the seasoning is, is really down to the cast iron. I'm using avocado oil, which has about a 500 degree smoke point. So what we're going to want to do is add avocado oil to the pan and then put it in the oven and heat it up over the smoke point. So in this case, about 505 degrees. And that will convert the oil in the pan, polymerize it, and create the seasoning that is required in order to make the pan non-stick and to protect the cast iron below it from rusting. So, it's really a simple process, but I wanted to go ahead and do this on the video so that you can actually witness the steps that are required. One thing that may concern a lot of people is that it actually does smoke. And that is intentional. And without it, it's not actually converting it to a polymered surface. So. As you can see, I'm setting the oven to 505, and we're going to start the oven up and let it start heating up. Um, I do have another pan here that I'm going to go ahead and um, add oil to it and put it in the oven. I've you know, got extra oven space, so might as well add another seasoning layer to the other pan. So. We're going to add these two pans in addition to the one that I'm repairing and they will get seasoned at the same time. So as you can see, the temperature is coming up and eventually as it gets close to the smoke point, you will see smoke starting to come out of the vent from the oven. And this is absolutely normal. It is unusual if you've never seasoned cast iron before to do this typically people think oh god smoke is bad <laughs> so in this case though as you can see when it hits the smoke point it will smoke and that's good um, you want to continue cooking these pans at the smoke point or above slightly above until the smoke is almost completely gone because that will demonstrate that the oil that you are using for your seasoning has been completely converted so patience um, you can turn on your vent fan for the oven and it will remove the majority of your smoke so you know you won't smoke up your kitchen you will smell them cooking it smells like cooking oil 
Um, and typically, I've noticed it takes about an hour. In this case, I'm going to start with a 45 minutes and let it run for the 45 minutes and come back and check on it. If it's still smoking, I'll add another 15 minutes to it. But it, it is an easy process. Once the oven is heated up and the smoking is occurring, there's nothing else you do. The pans are in there. They're not damaging the pans. If the pans are already seasoned with a high temperature or an oil at that, that has a smoke point at or above where you're seasoning now. So what I'm suggesting is that whenever you season your cast iron, that you try to use the same type of seasoning oil and that you do that so that every time you add seasoning layers to your cast iron, essentially they're all equivalent types of polymerization. And I suggest using a higher smoke temperature oil to do your seasoning. In this case, it's avocado oil, which smokes at 500 degrees. The majority of your cooking in the cast iron pans, whether it's on the stove top or in the oven, is below 500 degrees. So because of that, while you're cooking, you're really never approaching the, the temperature of polymerization for your seasoning oil, and you're pretty much eliminating any possibility of damaging the seasoning on your pans while you're cooking if you do that so pick a high temperature oil um, and I'm not even suggesting which one in this case it's avocado oil that I'm using apply multiple layers of the seasoning to your pans uniformly and um, I definitely agree with the multiple thin layers repeated over time versus trying to get a thick layer on your pans. So the process does take an hour usually to smoke off the oil. So in my case, it's just a routine. Every time I cook with the pans, I will clean them, heat them up to get rid of any moisture and apply a thin layer of oil without actually seasoning the pan. The cooking will season it. So, um, come near the 40, end of 45 minutes, as you can see, it's still smoke coming out from the oven. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. It'll be a total of an hour, which is typical, and let it run for the duration of of the next 15 minutes and check it again um, and typically from my experience it, it with avocado oil on these pans in this oven right so there's a lot of variables there but it takes about an hour after which you essentially just turn off the oven and let it cool down from a day-to-day -day standpoint it makes it kind of easy. I will do the cleaning ritual, the daily cleaning ritual like I described, which is basically wipe out the pan hot water in the sink, scrub out, you know, any remaining food particles or oils that are, are standing, heat it up on the stove top until it dries any moisture out of the pan, add a layer of oil and then it's ready to cook tomorrow. And then at staggered intervals, I will do this hour long seasoning. And it can be, it just depends. If it appears that more seasoning is needed, then I'll put the pans through an hour long seasoning. And this can happen once every couple of days or once a week. It all depends. So, um, now, as you can see, the smoke is just about out, so we're done. And this is a couple of shots of that same surface that was rusted before. 
after this one seasoning. And again, this is Cast Iron Cooking. If you made it this far, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. 